Hi, I'm Joe Peacock and I'm with a company called ConnectSphere and we are specialists in IT service management. And in this session we're going to briefly look at the fifth life cycle phase of ITIL, which is CSI, Continual Service Improvement. We've come up with an idea for a service, we've come up already with our governing policies for our services and how we're going to manage our services. We've designed new services, we have built them, we've tested them and deployed them and we've been running them in the live environment. So how do we ensure that those services continue to meet the needs of the, of the business and continue to deliver value to the business? Well what we're doing is we're going to look at continual service improvement. The word continual means repeatable, it means iterative, it means doing it over and over again. So you don't just improve a service once and then stop, you have to improve a service continually. Always seeking to ensure that we are aligned to the needs of the business because the business changes. We have to understand the business strategy and we have to align ourselves with that business strategy, always seeking to deliver value to them. And as their needs change, so must our delivery of our services. We always want to be looking for ways to improve our services. And so it's not just about the technology, it's about improving our skills, it's about improving our people, it's about improving the processes that support those services and that deliver those services, improving the way that we design the services, improving the way that we build or that we test those services. So this is about improving all of those previous stages, all of those life cycle phases that we've already talked about, service strategy and design and transition and service operation. So we have various methods to improve services and their processes and the tools. And these methods are high level, but they are, as I've already said, iterative. They are repeatable methods. And our first is we look at our CSI approach. And this is a six step process to improving our services. Understanding what it is we're trying to achieve. What is our business vision? What is it we want to do? And then, well, what about our starting point? We have to start from somewhere, so where are we right now? And then more specifically, exactly where do we want to be? This is where we set our critical success factors and our key performance indicators. In other words, what we want to achieve and what will tell us whether we're achieving that improvement. And then we work out our plan. How are we going to make that improvement? And once we've implemented it, did it do what it was supposed to do? Did we make that improvement? But again, as I said, it's iterative. We don't just stop there because a one-off improvement will only deliver value for a very short period of time. So following that, we need to look at what are we going to do next? And we have another approach to this called plan, do, check, act, also known as the Deming cycle. And very simply, we plan our improvement. We will do it. We'll check that it's worked and then we set actions for our next improvement or perhaps take remedial actions for that improvement for anything that maybe hasn't delivered exactly what it was supposed to do. It's again an iterative approach. We do one cycle and then we stop. We take a baseline, we measure, did that make the improvement it was supposed to do and then we do another cycle. And over time, we move with each cycle towards better alignment with the business. Over time, leading to steady, ongoing improvement. And we have a process known as the seven-step improvement process. And let's say, for example, we're not quite too sure exactly what our specific improvement is. For instance, we have a service desk. We know that the customer satisfaction is not great. So let's analyse why it's not great and then let's decide on a step for improvement. So we start off very simply with identifying what our vision is and that is that we want to improve the service desk. So let's define what we're going to measure and then let's gather that data and we process, we format the data and analyse it. We display it by way of a graph and usually and that will allow us to make decisions 
Well, we can see that actually it's the fact that we can't answer the phone quick enough. That's why there's general customer dissatisfaction. And at that point in time, that's when we decide on the improvement and we implement that improvement. But again, it's an iterative process and we don't just stop with one improvement, we do it over again. And so the purpose of that seven step improvement process is actually to define what we're going to improve and then make that improvement. Now key to any improvement is measurement. And we have to measure our services. We have to measure what we're delivering right now, but we also have to measure our improvements which means we take a metric, a baseline. This is what we're performing right now. This is what we're doing right now. And then when we've made that improvement, then we need to look back and say, well, did it improve? What's our performance like now? Is there a difference? So we want to measure things like the availability of a service, which is about technical measurements. We want to measure its reliability, how often it fails, and how quickly we can restore service when it does, and the overall performance of that service. So we don't just measure the end-to-end -end service. We have to measure the technology that forms part of that service, but also the processes. Processes like incident management. How quickly are we resolving any incidents that occur? And they will give us ideas and opportunities for improvement just by analysing those metrics. So CSI, or continual or repeatable service improvement, is key to being able to deliver ongoing value to the business. If you want any more information about continual service improvement or about any of the other life cycle phases, then please feel free to log on to our website. It's www.connectsphere.com.